The combined gas law. When a gas is held in a flexible container at 20 degrees Celsius and 900 Tor, the container is 2,300 milliliters. If the container expands to 3.1 liters when the temperature increases to 30 degrees Celsius, what will the pressure of the gas be? First thing we want to do is identify what you know and what you don't know. So by highlighting what we know, the first temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, the first pressure is 900 Tor, and the first volume is 2,300 milliliters. We know that the container will expand to a new volume of 3.1 liters at a new temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, and we are looking for the new pressure. Therefore, we identify each of the knowns. 900 Tor is P1, 2,300 milliliters, which we convert to 2.3 liters, is our volume and our temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, which we have to add 273 to to get the Kelvin temperature of 293. We are looking for the new pressure. Our new volume is 3.1 liters, and our new temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, which again we add 273 to to get a Kelvin temperature of 303 Kelvin. When we are doing gas laws, we have to make sure all our units are consistent and we have to convert Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. Now we can set up the combined gas equation. P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. We can now plug in the values. 900 Tor times 2.3 liters divided by the temperature 293 Kelvin. On the right side of the equation we have 3.1 liters divided by 303 Kelvin, and we are looking for pressure 2 on the top. By completing the algebra, 900 Tor times 2.3, we multiply by the denominator from the right, 303 Kelvin. We divide this by 293 Kelvin, divided by the 3.1 liters from the right-hand side. This equals pressure 2. Pressure 2, when calculated, will come out to be 690.53 Tor. This is the combined gas law.